hello everyone welcome back to the channel this is caroline if you are new welcome i haven't done a real sit down tutorial with my natural hair in a while but this is my very kinky short very thin natural hair okay and this is my length now once it's scratched out we're gonna be doing a sew in weave okay starting off with our braids um we are going to start braiding from the corner because your girl hair is extremely short and very hard to grip but you can see your girl's hand trying to catch and pick up every strand and every piece of her hair okay i have always have short hair my hair have never been long so this is something i'm used to this is my natural texture this is how thin my hair is so there is nothing um new or to say this is something um strange that i'm dealing with i've always dealt with my hair being short being thin and hard to grip but I always manage to grip it whenever I can let's say your girl's got her first cornrows grip okay do you see that braid on that short hair that thin short hair okay so I am going to do my next braid which is my third braid so this is going to be a closure, a lace closure sew in, but where the closure is going to be at is where I put the three braids and I braided my hair going straight back. Okay, y'all, so this is the grip for me. Do you see me grip that hair? Listen. Since I did the three braids on one side for the rest of the braids, I'm just parting from the left side all the way to the right side and moving all the way back. This is my braiding part I'm going to use for the rest of the braids, okay? It's super easy to do once you're trying to do a lace closure, especially if you want to do a side part lace closure. This is the best way to do it. Just determine on which side you want to put your closure. And then you put your closure braids going all back. And then the side you want to have your volume for your bob or your sewing. Then you just braid from that side going all the way back. And that is the best and easy way, way I can describe if you're trying to achieve or sew in on yourself. All right, y'all, so this is my braiding partner. You can see I got a good grip on my braids, okay? You just have to part on the side that you want your closure to be and grip the rest of your hair on the other side, just going straight back. Now listen, your girl hair is thin naturally, so I don't have thick full edges. I never have. You can see my hair texture has always been the same since I was a kid, okay? So we're going to swoop those little baby hairs back, even though they're not enough, okay? I just use a little bit of got to be spray and I swoop it down. Now I'm going to go ahead and put my stockings on. This is my preparation for my lace closure. I went in here and I um, split out my ear tabs just so that the closure, the stockings can lay flat under the closure. I use the got to be spray and I'm going to spray all around the closure piece just to make sure that the stockings stay in place. 
You can also sew the um, stockings down if you choose to. I just don't sew it. It's too many threads for my hair because my hair is thin. So I do not sew it down. I only use a got to be glue spray and spray it down. Once I let it dry, then I take my pair of scissors and I cut off the stockings to the shape of the um, closure piece because the closure is going to lay right on top of the stockings. All right, once after cutting the stockings off, let's get to the hair. The hair is from Curls Queen's hair. It's regular three bundles of hair. They are very short bundles. I believe the longest is 14, 12, and 10 inches. And then the closure is just 10 inch closure. So I did get the hair from Curls Queen, Queen's um, hair. I went ahead and I bleached the knots on the closure already. I'm just tinting the lace with my foundation. Just making sure that it will matches my skin once I put it on. Now, here is a basic, very, very most important step about applying a closure on your left side. If you want to have your closure looking like a frontal and you want to install it as close to your ears you have to cut this tiny tab off you have to cut it on at least on one side you can do your favor of cutting it on both sides but i usually just cut it on one side and i just cut it to the to the side where it's going to sit right above my ears you see how that looks? That's the most important part. If you want this closure to look like a frontal, you want it to look neat once you install it. So once you have your um, closure tabs cut off and you situated, you know where it's going on the side of your face, you want to take your got to be um, not the got to be, well, you can use a got to be glue if you choose to, but I am going to use a glue, which is the ghost bind glue. You can use any type of adhesive that you use to hold your closure and your frontals down. Listen, you, and when you use an adhesive, like for my hair, my hair is thin already. My hair is thin. My, 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 um, my edges are thin. So you can see how far that closure is from my edges. I do not put the glue on my edges because my hair is extremely thin. So I put the closure, the stockings far from my edges and then I apply the ghost bond glue before I go in to apply the closure. Now, once I apply the glue, I just let the glue um, dry a little bit where it's about to turn clear. Then I go ahead and just um, apply the closure right on top of the glue. Now, once applying the closure, just make sure the closure is exactly right on top of your ear lobes. And make sure you pull the closure directly on top of the glue so it sits nicely without budging because you don't want to have any bumps in the closure and you want the closure to look as flat as possible just so you have that natural look um, once your hair is complete. I'm just applying a little bit of got to be spray before I go ahead and apply my elastic band to tie um, the closure down to melt. Now, once you have the closure um, tied down in the front, you don't want the closure to move. You want to make sure the back of the closure is flat and is laying directly 
over the stockings. You don't want a closure to be bulky or crunched up. You want to make sure you have a secure closure that is flat because when you make your party, it's going to determine if your closure is bulky or not. And you don't want any crumble or bulkiness under your closure. Then you're going to take your thread and needle and begin to sew your closure piece down. Now, when you get to the back part of the closure, you want to continue sewing and make sure that the back of the closure is nice and tight and secure also. And make sure that it's flat. The most important part is that your closure is flat when you do your sew-in around the closure piece. Because if it's not flat, it's going to look bulky when you do your parting at the end of your sewing. All right, so once the closure is secure, I went ahead and took the band off just to make sure that the lace melted. Okay, and you can see the closure is nice and flat. We're gonna go ahead and start with the bundles. I did start with the 12 inches. In the first row, I did one track. And then for the rest of the other um, bundles, rows, I doubled the track. So this first track is one row of hair because I don't want the bob to be bulky at the edge, okay? So I'm just gonna take the bundles around just like the way my braids look from one end of the closure to the other side of the closure. And that's how I'm going to do the sewing. Now using my thread and needle, I'm going to start at the edge, which is right behind my ears, because I want this to be like a asymmetrical bob and it's tucked behind my ears. So that is where I'm starting to do the sew in. I'm using my thread and needle and I'm applying my first track and sewing with my thread and needle going straight across and then I'm going to bring it back to the other side. All right, so once I get to the front part for sewing my track, especially the first track, that's why I made it a single track. I'm going to slow this part down so that you guys can see how I does that part. I attach that single track, I attach it to the rest of the closure that's hanging off. I know my blinds was open and I didn't realize the sun was on me on this part, but if you look precisely, I sew the closure down with the first piece. I pull the piece in the front to attach it with the closure. I'm telling you with the glue and this part sewn down, the closure will never lift up. This is why I leave the tabs on the end of the other side. So the the tracks can be able to be attached to the closure piece. And this is how I achieve the first um, track going around my entire head. This gave me security for the closure and a foundation that keeps the closure in place. All right, now for the next part, I did want to hear and I double up the tracks. So now I'm using two tracks to go around the rest of my head. Just like my parting is and my cornrows are, I'm just going to sew directly around each braid until I get to the back. Now I did want to hear and I close my windows a little bit. So the lighting is a little bit low, but this is the top of um, the center part. 
And like I said, I'm going to keep doing my sewing with my needle and thread going in a U shape because I'm at the top now. So I'm going to go in a U shape till I get to the back and the end of the closure piece. All right, so once we at the top of the sewing, we are almost done with this sewing. I went ahead and I applied one single track. The one single track, just like I applied the one single track at the beginning, I apply it and attach it to the closure piece just to make sure everything is secure, everything is in place, and I just went around the entire closure piece. Once the closure piece was attached to the track, that was it. That was pretty much it for the sewing. All right, y'all, so after doing my sewing, I went in here and did my makeup, gave me a clean beat, and we was ready for styling. Now, the first part about styling this hair, I did want to like a C-shape parting space, so I went in here and gave myself a C part parting space and I use my flat iron with some got to be spray not my flat iron my hot comb with my um, got to be spray and I flattened the closure a little bit more after making my parting space it was time to cut this hair now I do want a bob look I was going for a short um, asymmetrical bob, if you want to call it that. So we're going to start off with cutting. The first thing to cut is we want to cut the back. Now I can't see in the back of my head, of course, but we want a guide to start our cut with. So the best way to do a bob cut on yourself, especially if you cannot see in the back of your bob, is to gather the hair in the back and make a ponytail. Trust me, this is the best and easier way to do a bob cut on yourself with no headache. This will help you get a guideline of how to cut now to do the cut in the back i usually measure about um one to two inches right before my shoulder part that's where i like to cut my bob at so i did measure it with my fingers and then i took my pair of scissors and started to chop the hair off trust me you cannot see in the back of your head so this cut is not going to be straight don't worry about it being straight you just need a guide because you're going to go back in with your scissors and your razor to try to even it as much as possible so for right now don't worry about if the cut is straight across if you don't get it straight across that is fine once i take that um scrunchie out, you will see I have a guide now now right where in the middle where that guide is is where I'm going to do the rest of the cut that's how I'm going to measure the rest of the cut to get a precise cut now once I have my guideline I just took my pair of scissors and follow my guideline to give me a precise cut all around for this Bob. All right, so when I once I went ahead and cut the left side, I went ahead over to the right side and 
cutting from my right side is a little bit hard but i was able to achieve it i just went ahead and cut straight um across and then i just went back and tried to even it up next i went ahead and used my razor and shave off the edge just to make the bob less bulky and remove some weight from the end of the bob you want your bob to be nice and movable and flowy and you do not want your bob your bob to be bulky so i just went ahead and um, used my razor and shaved the edges off Listen, when you're doing a bob, you cannot go wrong with a razor. Once you have your guideline and you have your uh, foundation, trust me, you cannot go wrong with a razor. So using a razor comb, just going to help thin out the bob on the ends, make the bob nice and flowy. And trust me, you do not need rocket science to figure how to cut a bob on yourself. It looks hard, but trust me, you can do it if you put your mind to it. After using the razor and getting my nice um, clean cut, I went ahead with my pair of scissors and just even out the size a little bit more. Just got rid of any type of sharp pieces that might be in the way. Now, right after cutting this bob, you can see the excitement in my face. I was so excited. I got a nice, even, wispy cut all over and the excitement of the cut was too much for me you can see it in my face listen you don't even need a baby hair to style this bob you can just wear this bob in the natural state if you wanted to but we gonna go ahead and do this extra styling okay so first thing i did was i want a super clean part so I took my tweezers and tweezed out the parting space a bit because I wanted the parting space to be clean and sharp for as long as the sew-in is going to be on my head. I also wanted the front part to have a little bit of baby hair so I went and cut some of the hair off. All right, now to make my baby hair, I went ahead and took my tiny flat iron and I curled the baby hair up. I used a little bit of spritz to slick the baby hair down. You can use whatever adhesive. You can use mousse if you choose to. You can use spritz just to lay your baby hair down. Sometimes I even use some Gorilla Snots to lay my baby hair down down so you can use any of that to achieve your baby hair look if you choose to once i have my baby hair down i took a little bit of got to be spray and i spray it and then i use my elastic band and i tie my baby hair down after tying my baby hair down with the elastic Ben. it was time to flat iron this baby now you can flat iron this as a blunt cut you can add some curls you can do whatever this bob is versatile depending on how you want to wear it but i wanted a bumpy look like a bumpy bob look so i flat iron it with that little bit of bump and hump on the bottom and I just absolutely love the way I curl it in the beginning. And I also love the way I look straight um, when I first did the cut. So I will probably wear it like that if I'm not going out. And then when I'm going out, I will curl it like this just to have that edgy look to this 
Bob. I'm telling y'all, once I took that band off, I was so excited. I got some foundation and I sharpened my part. Once I sharpened my part, girl, you couldn't tell me nothing. My Bob was eating, okay? I ate this Bob up. It was so pretty. It looked so bomb on me. I was so excited that I achieved this look. I wanted to make sure I add those bumpy curls in the front. So I went back in with my flat iron and I curl, actually curled the front part, just the front part, just to give me that edgy bob look. And then I went in with my hot comb just to slick down the top part. And when I tell you that was it, I was feeling myself with this bob. You couldn't tell me nothing. All right, y'all. So this is the end of this video. If you made it this far, just to tell you who told you you can do a bob on yourself. Who told you you can do a sewing on yourself? Who told you you can get salon quality hairstyle by yourself, for yourself, on yourself? Who told you you can cut a bob? Who told you you can get an edgy hairstyle? Who told you that? And who told you you can do a closure? Listen, if you feel in this video, if you felt this video, who told you you can do a sew-in? Did you see how short my hair was? Did you see how thin my hair was? Did you see how curly my hair was? If I can do it, you can achieve it. You can achieve any salon quality look from the comfort of your home. You just got to put in the work, put in the time, be patient, and I guarantee you, you will achieve this look. Thank you all for watching. As always, I love y'all. Bye.